So just another quick video about Virtual DJ in Ableton Link. And what is Ableton Link? Uh, well, that's actually this little plugin from Ableton that can synchronize your audio uh, whenever that is supported by the software using it. So I've already done that video like this uh, a long time ago, but that was on two virtual DJs on two laptops. And then someone asked me, can you do it on two softwares on the same laptop? And I was like, I'm not sure, but let me test it. So that's what this video is all about. So of course you have virtual DJ and uh, that's actually sending its audio to this focus right over here, which is sending it over here to my little tiny mixer. And that's gonna be on channel three and then down to the monitor so that we can hear it. So if I load a track in, the, in here and play it, and turn it up maybe a little bit, then we can hear it. Stop again. So no surprise there, that's what you would expect. Then I can start Ableton Link. That's just really listed as an effect here. You could do it on the master, but I'll just do it on the, on the deck. So I click it on, and what happened? Well, this jump, this jump from 118 to 100, which is the, the original BPM, to 122. So why did it do that? It's not, a, it's not synchronizing to anything. Well, it's actually synchronizing to the last time uh, within the session that Link was used. So if it's the first time you do it, it's gonna sync to 120 because that's kind of the uh, Ableton link kind of default. So, but right now it's 122, that's fine. We can change that. So what's the other software then? Well, if I go over here, we have Serato DJ Pro. And that also has link. To, uh, to enable a link in a Serato DJ Pro, you need to make sure that you're using this little thing, Smart Sync, otherwise it won't work. And apart from that, you probably want to disable the firewall on the laptop so these things can actually talk to each other. But as you can see here in the top left corner, link is now enabled. So now when I load a track in here, you can see it says 130 BPM. Uh, that's okay um, because I'm not, uh, I haven't started playing yet and I haven't linked it yet. So I click link, then nothing happens but it's gray, so that's because it's not in sync. But then I uh, need to start playing. And Serato is actually using this little controller down here, so it's using the, the audio in here, which is also being sent to the mixer on channel four. So what happens then if I pl click play on the controller down here while looking up here? Well, because it's linked, it jumps to the same 122 BPM, like we wanted to. And you can, of course, hear it over here on channel four. Let me just turn the master left. So that's on channel four. And then what should happen if I go back to virtual DJ and I have Ableton Link enabled, I load a track and press play, it should indeed sync the two tracks, even if I'm not really precise. And it did. And it's pretty close to okay, but you may need to open the settings here and notch, notch it a little bit. Right now it's in minus three, 1.3 milliseconds in a virtual DJ for it to become precise. But apart from that, you can hear I'm turning down virtual DJ, turning it up again. Turning down Serato, turning it up again. And they are indeed in sync. And if I mess it up a little bit in virtual DJ, like this, it'll go back to being in sync almost instantly. So if I jump, so within a couple of seconds, it'll be in sync. That's a little different in Serato. If I uh, mess that up a little bit, for instance, by using the jack wheel, it's not going in sync, like you can hear. 
and then it turns yellow inside Serato, the link part. So I need to click that again. And then it goes into sync again, based on the link. The same goes if I uh, if I use the uh, the symbol pitch fader here. Change that. You can of course see that it moves the pitch inside Serato. But if I switch to Virtual DJ, you can also see it moving the pitch inside Virtual DJ. So the same one, controlling Serato, will also effectively control Virtual DJ because of the link. Well, let me just turn it off again, all of it. So that was basically it. I used this link plugin and the one that's in Serato to synchronize the two softwares um, on the same lap laptop, and that's recording the BPM, but also the actual syncing of the tracks.